Hi everyone, welcome back for another process video. So my prompt for this video is going to be to use wood veneer. Um, I have a subscriber, I believe her name is Sharon. I'm hope, I hope that I am saying that right. And she suggested, I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I would have to do um, use up some of my wood veneer and she suggested that I do one. So I went on that and as I was organizing my papers, I realized um, I had a lot of these wood veneer trees that you saw at the very beginning of the video. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and pull out some of the trees to go with this collection. This collection is by a company called Paperloft and it's their Gone Camping collection. I absolutely love Paperloft. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever heard of Paperloft or if you've never heard of them. I found them, um, they used to go to the CKC events near me and they would have a booth of their own. And I, their paper is, <clears throat> it's wonderful paper. It's very similar, I would say, to Cartabella's paper in the thickness. Um, I honestly would even say that I like Paperloft's paper even just a little bit more than Cartabella. Um, it's just got great quality, great thickness, and the colors are always beautiful. The only thing that I don't like about Paperloft is that they don't have a whole lot of embellishments to go with their collection, but using these collections um, will be a great way to use up some of my own you know, stash or embellishments. This one, I'm not gonna pull in much else other than the wood veneer. I am going to pull in just a few enamel dots, but um, I am going to use, they do have a few embellishments you can kind of see on the left-hand side, which you will see more of later. And it is, um, they're just like word phrases that you can cut apart and use on the layout. And that's going to be my main embellishment for this double page layout. So I am following a sketch by Scrapbook Generation, and I believe I actually used this sketch not long ago, and I didn't realize it until I was already making this page, but the sketch really works out. Um, I don't remember what page exactly I used this sketch on before, but I'm going to stay fairly true to the sketch this time around. Um, I'm going to get seven photos on this double page layout, and one of the reasons I like this sketch is because it has both uh, vertical and horizontal photos and I had a few of each with this collection so some of them you will see me in a few minutes I'm gonna cut down to four by four and please forgive me for my croaky little voice <laughs> never fails when I try to do a video I have a croaky little voice so you can see I'm just lining up the papers there and getting them on the background and something different for this background also that I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of their papers. So they have collections like the Gone Camping collection that you can purchase either the whole collection or each page individually. They also have coordinating cardstock that goes with all of it and that is one of the most beautiful, they have some of the most beautiful cardstock. It's got just a slight tiny bit of distressing to it so it really makes it, I mean it's not real horrible, I'm not a real big fan of like a lot of distressing but this is just beautiful colors. So that paper that I'm using for the background is not actually white cardstock this time, it is like a cream color that coordinates perfectly with this collection. And so I'm going to use that instead of white cardstock. I thought I would just, you know, um, mix it up a little bit for this one. <laughs> So here are my perfect layer of rulers and I was informed by one of my subscribers and I think she might have a channel called Passion for Scrapbooking or something like that. I apologize if I have that wrong, but she let me know that they actually, the We Are Memory Keepers, because I knew that they had the long 12 inch rulers, but I didn't realize that they do actually have this small size. And I even looked really quick on HSN and there is a cute little bundle with this other little corner cutter thing that has a couple circles. Um, I don't have that. I was actually tempted to get it, but I changed my mind and just decided, nope, I don't need it. I already have these rulers. So, um, if you are interested, she said that also that they have them available on scrapbook.com, although I was not able to find them. I could find the 12 inch rulers, but I'm not the most computer savvy person in the world. So definitely give it a try if you want the shorter ones. And I love them. Um, here you're gonna see me do a little bit of a trick. I didn't have a full sheet of this pattern left over that I was mounting all my photos on. So what I did was I just cut off part of one and then I'm going to take this last little bit that's not covered and 
I'm going to put it against just up against this part of the pattern paper. I'm going to cut a few straight edges first um, just to make sure it's a straight edge. So you can see me, I'm just kind of pasting this down right up next to where it ended and then I'm just going to continue cutting it as though it was one full piece of paper and when I'm done I'm going to hold it up. You can't even really tell. First of all the border is so small that you can't tell. Second of all um, with the brown inking on the edges it's it really really covers it up even more so it's definitely there's no way even after looking at the layout you'd have to really search for it um, so then I'm going to ink all my edges and then I'm going to I've started to build my paper or put my layouts together and I found these two other photos that were hidden underneath my layouts and I thought oh are you kidding me I'm out of that paper what am I going to do so I decided that I was going to go ahead and mount two of them in orange. Um, I don't know why I picked the orange. It just is a really pretty. Again, you can see that pattern paper. It's, it coordinates with this collection. Or excuse me, it's not even pattern paper. It's more of their cardstock. And the little tiny bit of distressing that it has just to make it pretty but and give it some interest, but it's not horrible. So I decided just to mount a couple photos on the orange. And since I had two photos, I kind of was thinking while I was doing this, well, I didn't really want to tear up one of my other photos, but I wanted three photos to have the orange because that would help draw your eye around the page. So what I decided on, and you can see here, I'm going to use these rulers twice. Instead of taking up the border that was already there, I'm just going to double mount this photo. And you can see that using those um, little rulers help you can do double mats triple mats anything you can do mats until you run out of room <laughs> so they work perfectly for that uh, so yeah those rulers really helped so that photo has two mats under it and it's kind of like the main photo on the left I, it's not like there's a whole, whole bunch going on in that photo that's not in the other photos but it's it's I'm considering it the main photo and here's something else that I haven't done a whole lot of yet um, recently anyway I used to do a bunch of splattering and so I just took out some of my Mr. Huey's and I believe this is the classic tan color and it's kind of just a nice little brown color and I splattered it all over my layout just for some more added interest and because it kind of made me think a little bit of the dirt because you know we're setting up camp in these pictures and you know there's dirt everywhere so I I really like the splattered look. I want to get back into that a little bit more. Um, so you might see me doing that a little bit more here and there. So when I'm putting my photos down here, I am making sure that each one of the ones with the orange border, border, <laughs> border are not next to each other. So this one here that I'm gluing down, the vertical one, or nope, it's a horizontal one, um, is has the orange border. That 4x4 that's next to it has the orange border. And then the only other one with the orange border is that one on the very left that has both the of the mats. So there is two next to each other on the right hand page, but it's, you know, the mats are so tiny and I did ink them all with the brown close to my heart ink that I, you can't really tell anyway. And um, I really like how it goes, but I did want to make sure that they were a little bit spread over both the pages. So I pulled out these stickers and I have to warn you, if you have these stickers, I don't know what they are. Um, they almost have like a faux leather look, but I found some of them down at the bottom of like right here, you can tell I, a couple of them had fallen down to the bottom of the page because they weren't sticking on the backing paper. And when I tried to pull them apart from each other, it pulled up the, the design or whatever. So you can tell on that one. You can tell on the letter W there that it pulled some of it off. I thought about keeping the letter W in case I need to alter it, alter another letter to make like an E or something, but I do end up just getting rid of it and not worrying about it. So if you have these stickers, um, go ahead and you might want to check them out. At first, I was thinking my title would be setting up camp, but I didn't really like the way it looked and I didn't really like that. I don't know. I just was something about it. So I decided to change it to ready to camp and I liked the fact that it fit all there together on top of that photo and in just a one straight line instead of needing two separate lines for the for the title and then also um, after I'm going to go ahead and add my Tombow mono mono glue to all the letters because of course they are chipboard and I want to make sure that they fit 
Um, after I do this, I am going to go ahead and look. I decided I wanted it to say getting ready to camp. I didn't I really kind of went back and forth with this title and, you know, I don't always struggle with my titles, but I definitely wasn't really sure how I felt about the way that this one said. Um, but while I was gluing it down, I thought, what kind of word or letters could I use for the word getting? And I thought, well, you know what? I have some small wood veneers. Let's take a look at these and see how they look. And I fell in love. I'm like, well, this goes along with using up more of the wood veneers. It will match in with the trees. So I went ahead and I'm digging through all these. I don't know where, I want to say these are probably a Studio Calico really old set. There might even be just two different sets. And I felt like I was digging for a puzzle piece here. <laughs> if you're a puzzle maker like I am, I love to do puzzles, but I couldn't find any T's. The only T's that I could find were these ones that were kind of capital. I mean, they weren't kind of, they really are capital. And it just felt a little weird to me because all the other letters were lowercase and they were capital. So I really wanted, I, I didn't want to give up. You can see me here. I'm just like, well, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to have those two capital T's. But after a few minutes, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go for it and I'm not going to worry about it anymore. And it is what it is. And nobody's really going to care in the long run. So I went ahead and did that. And I put all my letters away and I'm going to go ahead and glue down the word getting. So what I'm going to try out here, this is my first time ever trying this. And I think so far that I like it. This is the Lawn Fawn glue. It's just their wet glue. Um, I don't know how it holds up compared to the Tombow Mono glue. I definitely love my Tombow glue. The only difference I would say with this one is that this has like a smaller tip. And so you can, less of it comes out. I know I make a mess with my Tombow glue all the time and it never bothers me. I, you know, as long as what I'm gluing down gets glued down, then it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But I was actually pleasantly happy, su happy, surprised, whatever, with the Lawn Fawn glue. And you got to squeeze just a little bit to get it to come out. And I do store it even upside down, but it still came out pretty good. Um, and it didn't come out super fast. I probably would have made a bigger mess with the Tombow glue. So I'm going to keep going. So far, I'm happy with it is what I'm trying to say. So now I'm going through, like I said, these are basically the embellishments that um, Paper Loft has to go with their papers. And these are old. I have not checked in quite a while with Paper Loft and CKC doesn't come to my town anymore. So I don't know if Paper Loft does have embellishments of any sort now. So I'm sorry if I am wrong about that. I, I was thinking about that just a second ago. Um, but I do like, they have good classes. I love their classes. I love their kits. Um, they really have, they make their kit pages look beautiful, even just using these paper ones. So, and I really like the way this layout turns out, even just using these paper word saying. So I have a page, a couple pages that are fishing and this one and a couple that are camping. So I'm just going through and cutting off any of the words and a couple pictures you can see like there's the lantern on the log and the tree. I really wanted to use the trees um, since that kind of goes along with my wood veneer embellishments. And this is basically my two page spread. I love how it turns out. Um, I'm just now I'm just going to play around a little bit with where I'm going to place everything. And I did put that tree on the left hand side and I lifted it up underneath that R because I felt that like the space between the R and the pattern paper on the very left hand side was kind of like an empty floating space and it needed something. So I went ahead and put that tree there and I felt like that really filled, it filled it in enough, but it's not obvious enough that it really draws your eye to it. I think cause the tree is so subtle and it's the same color as the background paper. And all right, so I have placed around all the word phrases that I wanted to use. There was a few more that I wanted to use, but they didn't fit as well in with the page and the way I had all the phrases already. And I'm not going to ink these tree um, two squares with the trees on it. I just didn't want too much attention drawn to them. I just kind of wanted to use them as fillers. I did contemplate cutting them out, fussy cutting them out for a few minutes, but I thought, nah, I wasn't really in the mood and I like them as square. They work just fine. So I do ink all the edges of all the words with the brown ink also. And then I am going to pop up some of the words or actually I think I pop up all of them 
with some foam tapes just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension also. Um, I did take out some brown wood veneers and some like wood, I don't know, wood, wood veneer enamel dots. I don't know what you would call those ones, but um, I think I said wood veneer in the first place. I took out some brown enamel dots and some wood kind of veneer enamel dots. <laughs> I hope you could understand anything I just said. So um, I took out some of those and I'm going to use those in a little while, but I went ahead and you could see me. I went pretty quick and I was trying to figure out what I was saying a second ago, but I did go ahead and glue some of the word wood veneer trees down. Also this one phrase that says family camping trip, I really liked it, but I wanted it to be just a little thinner than it was. So I just trimmed off both the top and the bottom of it a little bit. And then I inked the edges of these and I'm just trimming up a little bit of foam tape and taking the backing off and putting those on there. And I liked this love to camp because it brought the orange around. There's also orange in that pattern paper that where you can see the campers are. And so I feel like having those pictures bordered with the orange paper and having a couple word things around that has the paper really kind of helps just draw your eye around the page also. So here is where I'm going to use up a bunch more of these wood trees and I love the way that it ends up looking. It looks so cute. What I'm trying to do, the only thing I meant to do anyway, made sure to try to do anyway, um, was make sure that the two trees, whatever two trees next to each other, weren't the same ones. And I wanted them all different heights. So you can see I even added one underneath the word love to camp. And I think it, that that little cluster there just turned out really cute. And I used up a lot of my, I think I probably used at least half of the little bucket full that I have there. I don't know for sure. I didn't count how many I had, but I do get quite a few on there. I'm also going to glue some up here by this great outdoors. And again, I'm just, these ones are the little smaller ones. I'm just gluing them next to each other, trying to make sure they're all different heights and different trees. I think there's three different styles of trees. And again, these might just be Studio Calico long time ago wood veneers. I'm not exactly sure. Um, what I did decide to do to help kind of make the two pages flow together was to add trees on the left hand side of that word great outdoors. And so now there is trees on both sides. And again, they're all different shapes and all different sizes. So this is pretty much going to be my layout. I love, I am going to add a few of these wood veneer enamel shapes, whatever you call them. I'm adding those into three different areas. I'm not 100% crazy about those, but I wanted just something else on there and I wanted to get those used up as well. So that is my layout. I apologize about the glare. I did not realize it was there. I have a couple close-up shots for you here. I hope you like it. I hope this inspires you to get your wood veneer out. And if you share the page anywhere on Facebook, please tag me on it and let me know. And I hope you like this layout. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.